This is an introduction and overview of the Azure Video Indexer service. Azure Video Indexer extracts insights from video and audio files through a rich set of machine learning algorithms. So it allows you to uh, upload your video and audio content and media files and provides a rich set of insights, which we will get into during this session. Uh, just to understand the scope of the service, it is for batch files. It is not for live or streaming video, so it's for the more archive or recordings. Uh, it's part of the Azure Cognitive Service family of services within the Applied AI grouping of services. It is It provides 30 plus AI models and services. So um, through a single endpoint, you are able to access and get the benefits of uh, uh, many uh, cognitive services technologies and Azure Media Services. And instead of having to develop your own solution um, with numerous APIs and integrations, you have a single endpoint and turnkey solution to access all of that technology. Uh, it is GA since 2018. And we actually just went uh, a really important milestone, um, ARM GA as well. So for Azure Resource Manager accounts, that is a GA offering that happened in the middle of 2022. So with Azure Video Indexer, you can get all of the goodness that comes with being a first-class Azure resource in terms of user management and security and monitor integration and all that good stuff. Um, and uh, most importantly, you could get using, you can get started today. We provide a free trial, I believe uh, 10 hours if you're using the uh, portal or 40 hours if you're using the API. So it's super easy to just um, go to our, go into the website and start using it today. Uh, there are three integration options that um, we will be focusing on the first one, which is the portal. And essentially that is a uh, really great interface to be able to do the uploading and indexing of, of videos and consume it that way. Additionally, you are able to um, access uh, and benefit from video industry through in embeddable widgets. And then you have the option of embedding uh, the player, the insights, or both, and you can customize it and build it into your applications, into your solutions. And finally, there are the APIs. Um, where if you just want to, if you are indexing at scale, hundreds or thousands of videos, and you want to be doing that through a, uh, manually through UI, so you can uh, automate that process as well as pulling of the insights and doing all sorts of other operations and building it into your solutions. And here at the table, we kind of have just a simple uh, overview, trying to explore and evaluate or not in decoding, great, use the portal for POCs or you're building it and integrating it into your solutions, you have the embeddable widgets, and then for automated and at scale, and as well as some other integrations, you can leverage those APIs. Um, in terms of the um, what's behind the scenes of Video Indexer, so it is built on top of uh, Azure Storage Compute and Networking, like so many Azure services. Um, we get a lot of uh, goodness from Azure Media Services, so that's the upload and storage, the encoding of the videos, and the protection, as well as the streaming of the content. And as we've mentioned, Cognitive services um, are leveraged for vision and speech AIs. And together with that and much of our own technology and insights, the Video Indexer's team technology, we have the Video Indexer solution. And on top of that, of course, there are many um, data asset management and media asset management providers and all sorts of other solutions that build their own solutions and then integrate and implement um, on top of Video Indexer solution. Uh, in terms of what are the scenarios, right? When, who does this, who does video indexer meant to help? Who is it meant to be a value to? So we'll just, um, they fall under primarily five scenarios. The first is, and this is our bread and butter, deep search. So um, customers, it could be media customers, news organizations, um, they have uh, significant archives of content, but much of it is a black box to them. They don't know who is in it, what is in it, the topics that are covered, the people that are covered, the places. So having hundreds or thousands or tens of thousands of hours of video, but it's inaccessible to them. It can't be um, repurposed. Um, it can't be made accessible. They can't reuse it or find what they need to when they need to. So Video Indexer provides the visibility into that content. Um, also, we um, support a lot of accessibility scenarios. So if you have, um, if you want to make your content perhaps for uh, a knowledge center or a learning platform or um, the teaching organization or educational software and want to make the content accessible, so um, you will, you need transcription, translation, closed caption, even audio event detect detection for those that might be uh, hearing impaired to know exactly what's in the content. 
um, and to be able to translate it into tens of languages for a worldwide audience. So you have an out of the box solution and this is a super popular uh, use case. Um, it is also used for monetization and user engagement. If you want to be able to um, repurpose content as well as to create contextual ads or built into a social media platform um, and a value add um, to have be able to have content and then be able to provide the insights on top uh, the insights on top of that content as well as to um, we recently for example with the contextual ads we recently added a feature clothing insight which helps um, to find the key moments and the key people in the key clothing within a video to be able to seamlessly um, add in contextual ads through uh, integration with uh, in an ad generation platform. Um, so that is another scenario as well. We also facilitate content creation. So if you want to create promos and trailers and the like, so we do um, scene segmentation and be able to see exactly uh, when things start and stop, um, as well as provide editing solutions. So you would be able to uh, be able to take exactly what you need to generate that content. And of course, for content moderation as well, um, by providing visibility to exactly the content that is in the video and the, the topics and the, the transcription and knowing exactly what's there. So it enables uh, content moderation scenarios as well. Um, and this will be the final slide. And this is just a high level view of kind of what's going on behind the scenes. There are two uh, parallel activities when you upload a, uh, upload a video. On the bottom, there's the vision analysis. We're taking all the things that are happening on the screen and working our magic to translate that into insights, right? To writing, uh, running all of our uh, AI models to perform inferences of what's happening on the screen, the, the people that are observed. Uh, we even do uh, OCR, which is optical character recognition to create the content off of, of their words and if there are signs um, or if there's uh, letters that appear on the screen to be able to add that to the insights and be able to search for that as well, which is super helpful. As well, of course, audio analysis, right? For the voice detection, speaker diarization, transcription, emotion detection, and all, brand detection, all that goodness as well. Those are happening in parallel. And with that, you get the video insights uh, which we will now have a look at together. Okay, so this is the video indexer portal. Um, and when you come here, you will see a, uh, all the insights, all the videos that have already been indexed. It's super easy to upload a video. So you can upload and begin uh, at browser a file or enter a file URL, um, and then you can get going. If you don't have any content and just want to be able to start evaluating the tool from day one, we have some samples. Um, there's also some basic configuration you can do in terms of the themes as well as the language, right? So if you want to, if for localization, if you want to be able to just experience all the insights and have the user interface through a different language, so you can do that as well, um, which is very helpful. Um, there are also, we, we don't necessarily have to get into it, but there are, you're able to do model custom, customizations to be able to train and uh, bring your some of your own uh, models to train people models to recognize people and uh, languages and uh, that are um, in, in the content to be able to have smarter insights in the future. Um, of course, we also mentioned there's deep search. So after you have indexed your um, you know, tens or hundreds of your videos, you want to be able to search across all of that. It is super easy to do. So I can simply, um, let's see, search for football. And then I will get results of all the time football is either spoken or appears. Um, across all of my videos. So that is a really powerful way to be able to uh, have visibility into um, everything that's happening, a, uh, everything, all the content of my videos and all of those insights. And with that, we'll start look at what the experience is and how the insights um, are viewed and accessed. So here on the left, we have uh, the player, which is based on Azure Media Services. Um, you can uh, just turn on, um, uh, uh, the observe people, the bounding boxes, there's, you could easily turn on closed captioning as well. And here on the right, you have the insights and the timeline. So the insights, we mentioned all of those models that are running in the background. So for example, we are recognizing um, and deciphering all the people that appear in the video. If they're public figures, they actually come out as named. You see what percentage of it there are and exactly when they appear. And we can go to that. So here's Billie Jean King and you would get a biography. Um, to learn more about them. So for the public figures, that is available out of the box. 
you are also able, if there are people who appear in the video, um, and let's see this person, and they're not public figures, but you want to be able to, um, uh, to, to um, name them, right? So that if they, uh, to be able to start training your person model, that, that uh, let's say we could, they could just hit edit, and then name that this is, let's say, Sarah, and then um, she will be recognized in the insights as Sarah. And if there are further videos which she, which, uh, she would appear in, um, so that it would be uh, tracked in the future as well. Um, in addition, we have the observed people and some uh, aspects of what they're wearing, short sleeves, short pants. Uh, there are inferred topics, and this is really useful. It's not simply um, just pulling words out of the transcription but we're actually inferring topics based on uh, the, the conversations that happen. Um, so if you want to be able to know exactly when and where certain topics are covered within your videos, so you can search and know exactly the point of the video so they come up. Uh, we have audio effects, nothing so exciting in, in this video. Um, the keywords that are discussed and exactly when that happens, right? Um, the labels, as well as named entities. So this is really useful if you want to know when cities uh, are, are the specific locations uh, appear in each of the video, as well as people and brands. And the brands part is really useful for those that are looking uh, to monetize or if they have their own uh, video archives and want to be able to um, have the visibility about when they occur, what, when they, they appear in their own videos. Um, and that is the insight section, but also the timeline. Here we have the transcription. Um, you can easily change from one language to the other. We support tens of languages. You could also edit it if there is a, a part of the transcript that you want to, to change and be able to um, have uh, represented in a different way. So you could edit that transcript and save it as well. Um, we also provide out-of-the-box views. Um, so for example, if I want to, for accessibility, I want to, uh, that's the, the purpose of the insights I want to see. That's my focus. So I could just have those. Um, one thing I mentioned that is really cool is the OCR. And this is the um, text that comes up from the, sc the screen. So if someone um, is, if you want to be able to, uh, it pro provides a whole new dimension of insights that you actually take things that aren't even spoken, but just would say appear on the screen. And then that text is pulled up and then appears here in the OCR component of the insights. Um, and with that, I, I mentioned the, the language of the viewer. You're also able to download uh, the files. We have the insights JSON, which where most of the insights reside, and of course um, is available through the APIs. And you could download the, the transcript or the artifacts file, which has all sorts of uh, good stuff as well. Um, so this has been an overall introduction. One of the new things we actually recently just added, just to see where some of the technology comes together, is uh, actual, actually Clapperboard support. And this is in public preview. Soon, hopefully, we become a GA. And here, uh, so many media companies have, even to produce, let's say, a 20-minute sitcom, you'll have tens of hours of content that's created. And there are multiple roles and scenes and takes. So we actually infer when there's a Clapperboard in a video and then uh, provide and then um, take the content of that clapperboard and, pro and provide it here about the camera, the directors, the production, the role, and the scenes, and the like, and exactly when it happens. And this is a super interesting and valuable uh, collaboration to benefit the media, uh, media customers. Um, so if you want to learn more about Azure Video Indexer, maybe start playing around, we have a developer portal, which is great. Um, you can simply start, get started by Explore Our APIs. And then you have the full uh, list of available APIs built on uh, API management, be able to perform all sorts of um, activities and operations and pull data and do all sorts of uh, great stuff if you want to if, uh, learn more about our APIs. And finally, if you want to um, see what's new of Radio Indexer and learn more about us, you have our documentation and our release notes where we um, add all the interesting things that have been recently released, all those good things that are coming to the service. So with that, uh, I will leave you. I hope this has been a helpful uh, overview of the Azure Video Indexer service. Thanks.